I'm so disappointed, guys. I'm so disappointed. This video would have been fucking awesome for you guys. It would have been so good. So good. And I didn't even want to upload it. I was going to scrap the whole thing after what I, what I heard, pretty much. Uh, but I decided, you know what? Let me let me show you guys what you could have had uh, before 2K decided to just be assholes for no reason and go back on what literally they were allowing this whole time and decide to just ruin fun for no reason. For those who don't know, Status has been working on an ultimate pack, is what we called it, as an alt, where everyone he uploaded, he made an alt for so that you can get their actual call names. And let me show you right here. This was the announcement right here. The ultimate pack has been uploaded, right? All these guys were alts. And I had the video recorded. I was editing it. I just finished editing it. I was ready to upload it until I got an update. That status said, seems like they are being taken down now. Well, it was a good run. Thank you for all the support. He also said, I guess this confirms what I was told, that certain influencers go out of their way to tell developers about the situation, but it's okay. No biggie. Hope you all enjoyed it and sorry they can't stay up. Just, just so you all know, it takes 24 hours before something gets taken down after reports. These were taken down within 22 minutes. So pretty much status is thinking that there's certain influencers in this 2K space that are pretty much anti-fun and they're reporting these uploads immediately so that they hit 2K's radar and then 2K takes them down. But Status was told that he was being watched because certain influencers who love my faction mode went out of their way to tell 2K that Status has been ruining my faction mode with these uploads. Now, I don't know who these influencers are and I'm actually kind of glad I don't know who they are because I'm not someone that can really hold their tongue. <laughs> I'm kind of I'm just really upset right now because this was so good for you guys. Now it's ruined and I'm sorry in advance uh that you can't get all these ults for the superstars and get their call names. Um Status's other uploads are still up. It's just that this current pack he he released he released is pretty much getting taken down left and right. I don't know who got taken down, but uh here's the actual video of what would have been and I guess what you should do is look up the hashtag that I show in the video and see which ones are still there. Let me know in the comment section down below who's still there and download whoever you can and make the ults. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry again. I feel bad that Status is going through this and that he's getting snitched on by the community uh, for uploading these creations that literally he was allowed to upload. And all because he's ruining my faction mode, apparently. Whatever. Anyways. This is what would have been. What is going on, Proper Squad? Fatal Steven here, and we got a big pack for you today. And I'm talking about the ultimate pack, which I named myself, so I'll take the credit for that name. <laughs> but with that being said, Status has dropped the ultimate pack, which he's been working on for so long. And he's pretty much made every single one of his uploads that aren't the originals, like the MyRise characters, every single one of his actual uploads, an alt attire for that said wrestler, so that they all come out to their actual call name. Now let's get right into the video because this is an exciting one. So as always, make sure you go to online options and then you have this option right here on with your 2k account linked or else you can't find these creations. If you still can't find the creations, try and change your server to a lower number and retry. Go to community creations, downloads, superstar, and we're going to search up 12 status, alt pack, So search that up and they will all pop up. If they don't pop up, like I said, you're having a problem with your 2k account linked or your internet. So once you have that, type it in. And as you can see, we have a shitload of pages right here and we're going to go through all of them. So let's go to the first page and walk you through it. Now, obviously, I'm not going to download all these, but what you should do if you want to if you want to make them alternate tires, delete all the previous downloads you had of these characters and then re-download these versions so that you also have them as alt attires. So you can keep them separate, but you have that option to switch them as an alternate attire if you want down the road. So let's go through them. We have Goldberg 2003, his 2003 model, the one with the better hair and the attire, like this. Um, ignore ignore the Mr. America on the second slot. You won't actually see him there, uh, but we're concentrating on just Goldberg. So we have Goldberg, his younger model with that attire as an alternate attire for regular Goldberg. We then have Ric Flair 04 with his hair, his old model with his hair, as an alternate attire for Ric Flair 88. Moving on, we have Mayor Kane and Corporate Kane as an alternate attire for regular Kane in-game. 
We got Hulk Hogan 88 without his bandana, obviously, as an alt for regular Hulk Hogan in the game. We got Hulk Hogan bandanaless with the beard as an alt attire for regular Hulk Hogan in the game. And the bandana also stays off on this Hulk Hogan, which means you can change the bandana and all that stuff. We got Hollywood Hulk Hogan. You do need the NWO pack for this one. Comes with his bandana off and it's an alt attire for NWO Hulk Hogan in the game. And you can also remove this bandana as well as change it if you want to. But for this one, you need the NWO pack. We got Liv Morgan 20, which is her other model, the one with the hair doesn't move, but it's an alt for Liv Morgan in-game. Again, ignore the cane. It's only Liv Morgan that you're going to get. We have Mandy Rose 20, which is also the other Mandy Rose model where the hair doesn't move. Again, this is an alt attire for Mandy Rose in-game. We have the recent Roman Reigns with the different beard as an alt attire for current Roman Reigns, which means that you can play this as Roman Reigns with the actual call name of Roman Reigns, as well as everyone here will have their call names. There's the recent Becky Lynch with the different hair as an alt attire for in-game Becky Lynch. We got Asuka without the face paint as an alt attire for Asuka in-game. So that's it for page 3. And again, you can change their attires and also keep them as an alternate attire. So if you don't like Becky Lynch's attire, go ahead and give her your own attire. Change it if you want. Copy over an attire, import attire, whatever you want. You can still keep it as an alternate for Becky Lynch in-game. Moving on to page 2. Starting off with page 2, we have Mr. America as an alternate attire for Hulk Hogan in-game. Next up, we got Hulk Hogan 03, which is pretty much Hulk Hogan without his beard, just his mustache, in Hulk Hogan's attire, and an alternate attire for Hulk Hogan in-game. We got regular Finn Balor as an alternate attire for Demon Finn Balor. So if you want to play as Demon, but also when you click on Demon, you want to switch to regular Finn Balor, you can do that. We have Old Man Road Dog as an alternate for regular Road Dog in-game. This comes with his two attires, Performance Center 1 as well as his in-ring attire. We got Undertaker 01, which is an alt attire for Undertaker 02 in-game. This is his American Badass one with his long hair. And then we also have an Undertaker 01 attire on the WrestleMania Undertaker model. And this can be an alt attire for Undertaker 02 in-game. We have Mia Yim in Reckoning's attire to give her the different hair. And this right here is an alt attire for Reckoning in-game. We then have Reckoning in Mia Yim's attire to give her her different hair. And this right here is alt attire for Mia Yim. We have Hulk Hogan 88 without his beard and the different hair in Hollywood Hulk Hogan's attire. And this is an alt for Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Again, you'll need the NWO pack for this one. There's the Willem Regal My GM model that comes with different hair. And this is the alt for Willem Regal in-game. We have Seth Rollins 17, which is an alt attire for Seth Rollins in-game. Next up, we have Do-Rag Vince, which is actually Vince McMahon's manager model. Playable now. Comes with different hair. It's more gray. And this can be an alt for Mr. McMahon in-game. Again, for that one, if you want to remove the bandana or change his suit, you can for all these. And you can see his older gray hair. Next, we have King Booker's model as an alt for Booker T in-game. We have another Roman Reigns 15 with the all black as an alt for Roman Reigns, if you didn't want the black and gold version. Next is Austin Theory's manager model. The only difference here is the hair, his fade is kind of fucked up on the back of his head. This model has a has a more fucked up fade than the original uh, Austin Theory in-game. So this can be an alt for Austin Theory's in-game model. So that right there is page 2 finished. Like I said, if you're going to download all these, delete the original ones you downloaded and have these ones take its place. I know it's a lot of work, but these ones will all have call names once you make them an alternate attire. If you don't care about call names, just keep it how it is and download the ones that you want from this pack and just leave it as it is being called the superstar. But I know a lot of you want to call names and this is how you get it. Just make them all alternate attires. On to page one. Starting off with page one, we have three Kevin Nash's slash Diesel's. First one is Diesel as an alt attire for Diesel in game. This one here has the different hair. Next, we got Kevin Nash NWO as an alt attire for Kevin Nash in game. Again, you might need the NWO pack for some of these. And then we got another Kevin Nash as an alt for Kevin Nash in game. Uh, a lot of these have their hair different uh, and attire swaps. We have an alt for Dolph Ziggler 09. This one here being different hair. And then also we have an alt for regular Dolph Ziggler. Again, this one here with different hair. And ignore the second slot. Next is Dominic Dijakovic as an alternate attire for T-Bar. So if you don't want Dominic separate from T-Bar, you can just have him as an alt for T-Bar. Now I do believe he will come out being called T-Bar. It won't be called Dominic. Now the exciting ones. We have Rey Mysterio's. All can be unmasked as well as their masks changeable. And they can be alts for the Rey Mysterio. 
So we have Rey Mysterio Jr. here. That can be an alt for Rey Mysterio Jr. You can pretty much take the mask off, change the attire, make it an alt as a maskless version. But I will have a whole maskless video coming coming out later on. There's Grand Metallic, where you can take the mask off and make it an alt, so he has no so he has no mask. We have Kane as an alt for Kane. You can take the mask off as well as change the mask. We have Lens Dorado, where you can also remove the mask and make it an alt without the mask. Rey Mysterio 09, where you can remove the mask and make him an alt without the mask. Rey Mysterio 06, where you can remove the mask and make him an alt without the mask. Regular Rey Mysterio, where you can make him an alt without his mask. But I do believe the Mohawk will still stay there. Finally, we have Demon Finn Balor, that can be an alt for regular Finn Balor. And that right there is pretty much everyone from the Ultimate Pack. Now, every single one of Status' uploads that aren't original people like from my res, like, like Hector Flores or whatever, Every one of his uploads can now be an alternate attire, which means they will come out to their call names. Now, for the people who are new here and don't know how to make them alternate attires, I will show you real quick. So you want to go to Superstar, Edit Custom Superstar. You want to click on the Superstar. For this example, I will use Alexa Bliss 20. You want to go to Edit. You want to go to Personal Information. Use as alternate attire. Yes. And then you want to save it. And that's pretty much it. Just do that for every single person you download that you want to make an alternate attire. And now, when you use them in-game, they will come out to their actual call name. With that being said, guys, enjoy, okay? Give a big thanks to What's the Status. His Twitter is in the description. Or you can just write it in the comment section down below, and he will see it anyways. That being said, guys, tune in for next video where I talk about the Rey Mysterios and remove all their masks and etc. I also have another video coming out about Do Love. And I have a video coming out about all the attires from WrestleMania Backlash. So stay tuned for those. Give the video a like and stay proper. Fiddle Steven out. Peace.